so yeah folks that's basically it that's the, basically the state of the disunion um, nationally speaking as we currently sit um, God willing things will get better in this country at some point um, And uh, wouldn't it be nice to be happy with the spiritual condition of your country? No Christian who is close to God right now in the year 2017 can say that well about Canada or the United States. There is no one who is close to God in North America who can honestly say right now, I am happy with the spiritual condition of Canada. I am happy with the spiritual condition of the United States because it is not true. <laughs> there we are not doing well. Our report card is not A plus before God Almighty. In fact, it's closer to an F. Um, and God, please work your miracles to help us out of that to change that completely. Um, God willing, I'm going to outlive all this stuff. I'm going to live long, God willing, to see the brighter day that he hopefully has. <laughs> They're just like... <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. Eat healthy, live long. <laughs> You'll hopefully see revival and things will be better. <laughs> uh, it's actually not a bad idea. Okay. Cool. But, yeah. No, it, I would love to be around folks. I, I feel like I'm starving for this. You know, we need a lot of beautiful people. And I'm thinking like people, like visually, models, people who are visually beautiful, like supermodels, to be filled with God and to be hungry for God and to have the most passionate prayer lives of any people on the planet. I'm like, come on. Where is all the drop-dead gorgeous Christians that are close to God and have a platform for God? Come on, God, help us, help me, help whoever. It's like, raise up, and he's just like, it's like, I want the supernatural, folks. I want miracles. I, I, nothing less than miracles. I'm like, I want Elijah running faster than a chariot miracles. I want Jesus dividing the loaves and feeding 5,000 miracles, 5,000 people, that kind of miracle. I want gold coins and fish's mouths. I want all the delicious miracles that God has always worked in abundance in my life. And, uh, oh, by the way, just everything that happens in your life is from the Lord. God ordained me to find a tunic while I was getting pleasurable exercise on the field. And lo and behold, it says knowledge and la savoir in French on the other side. And God speaks to me in the spirit. He's sovereign over every detail of my life. He's saying, that find is for you because you love knowledge. Okay, and you've been, you've been laboring tremendously in Gematria. And I even noticed that I am is at the dead center of la savoir in the French on this coin. It's a 2000 toonie. If you Google for 2000 toonie in Canada, you can see what it looks like. Knowledge. Le savoir. Okay. Um, so obviously the spirit talks to you everywhere you go. Okay. But I, I, I believe you, you get closer to God and you have to desire that. Okay, in order for that to be the case in strength. Um, you know, as a brand new Christian, you probably won't be that good at interpreting uh, the personal voice of God and all the details of what he's doing in your life and if someone else, you know. But God gives wisdom. The Holy Spirit gives divine wisdom. And the Holy Spirit... Uh, You desire God, you, you're really serious about hearing his personal voice, he'll increase it in your life. It will happen because God promised that it would. Those who draw near to him, he'll draw near to you. You know, so there's always you know, more and stuff. Okay. That's pretty good. 
But yeah, it's fun to preach against the garbage tell like it is. We currently live in the dark ages. Um, it's pretty trashy. I pray for the world because I honestly, I'm not the greatest at, uh, you know, hanging around it. I don't think I need to. I believe it's God's power, personally, in their lives, that is changing them. And it's going to make the difference. And God is the one that changes people. God is the one that saves people. God is the one that awakens people. God is the one that's in charge. And um, so, all right. Oh, man. Just filth and darkness. I actually wonder what the world will look like when millions of people, if it does happen, I don't know what God's... You know, just a lot of changes in terms of economics and products and companies and all that stuff. All right. Well, I think that's pretty satisfying for me. So that's what you do. Whatever you do, you do it until you're satisfied. And that's being a child of God. You're promised satisfaction by Him. You speak until you're satisfied. You eat until you're satisfied. You rest until you're satisfied. And uh, you pray until you're satisfied. You speak in tongues, speak whatever until you're satisfied. You exercise until you're satisfied. And uh, you do whatever until you're satisfied. It's God's promise to you is His child satisfaction.